so so let me let me let me let me ask you this about the about the house situation with your house getting burnt down. Do you think the Illuminati has something to do with that to try to send you a message to try to quiet you or? Well, this is something I've never really said on film. I've said it on film, but I have it. I have that particular tape locked away in my safe behind my desk, and no one has ever heard me say this. Um, but I think it's time that we kind of get this out in the open. That, um, you know, on, on the Occult Science Radio interview and World Star and some other thing, interviews that I've done, I've actually talked about the blood and the human sacrifice. Well, I'm going to look right in the camera and say this. I was supposed to be that blood human sacrifice for public enemy, but I survived it. Do you understand what I'm saying? And since I survived it and I'm talking about it now, now it's imperative that these people silence me. Plain and simple. I've told you about people that I had to deal with right in front of my door right here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, I tell people, look, when you call me, know that this conversation is being listened to. Plain, plain and simple. Um, I can't tell you how many times I, my MySpace, Facebook, Email accounts, websites get shut down. You understand what I'm saying? I know they, I know they listening. You understand what I'm saying? To a degree, I know these days are numbered for me. You understand what I'm saying? But um, uh, I have to do what I have to do because I know they got to do what they have to do. My house burning down, that wasn't no accident. That wasn't no accident. But I'm um, see, I'm not I'm tied. I'm not tied to the material. You know, you know, this is where I do photography and and, and make music in here. And I ain't skip a step. And I really appreciate all the people like, you know, your people, your people, y'all's people stepping up. You know, brothers was just putting money in my hand when they see me in the street. They was going online and going to PayPal and putting money in my account to make sure that I stayed alive. And I really, the people actually stepped up, man. And if I wouldn't be if it wasn't for the people. Yeah, because the people are waking up. They're getting aware exactly. now. Exactly. And, and you know what they said themselves? That Professor Griff, man, but I, I may not agree with everything he got to say or the way he say it. But, hey, man, that, that brother's a soldier. And if they came at that brother like that to silence him like that, I got to support the brother. I mean, $5? I ain't going to miss that. You understand? The people were giving me used books. I had 3,000 books, man. All my books couldn't even fit in these three rooms. That's real. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, I had a DVD library that'll blow your mind. And to come home, I wasn't even in town at the time. To come home and look at the shell of my house, I'm like, God damn. So I'm walking in, you know, you know, with a with a wet uh, T-shirt over my mouth. I'm going through, seeing if I could salvage some things. It was like critical, and then for the insurance company to fight me tooth and nail, even down to the lawyers, man, just probably paid off. So th have they ever tried to approach you though and try to get you in with you knowing so much? I'm pretty sure that has anybody ever tried to approach you to get you into this so-called? Let me tell you what your man Hustle Simmons said to me. I'm at the Million Man March, or uh, the Million More Movement, I think it was the one after that. Behind stage, dignitaries and all the important people were there. So I'm talking to Russell, and I'm like, look, now, if, did that whole Jewish thing affect your life like it did me? He says, man, all you had to do was make a hit record, and that would have been that. Or basically, in other words, all you had to do was come on in. Basically, you understand what I'm saying? Chill the fuck out. We would hit you off, just kind of like, everything would have been cool. You mean to tell me all this time my life has been ruined? I've been poisoned, shot at, house burned down, all kicked out of public enemy, all this shit. And you tell me in a fucking fleeing moment behind stage somewhere that all I had to do was make a hit record? Oh, damn. That goes to show y'all, man. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. You understand what I'm saying? Right now, I'm feeling like Tupac. They don't give a fuck That's about us, up, man. They killed that brother, man. That they brother, was, hey, that, that brother but was yo, on you something. Got, you got a question, Quincy Jones, about that.